All right, sorry about the lateness of this uh, video here on Chuck Chats. I was out for my walk and all that stuff. And if anybody noticed that watch us on the Angie and Chuck show, that weight loss has been one of my uh, issues I had on the channel when I first started. Uh, basically, when I first started that channel, I was tipping at 300 pounds, so it was hard for me to breathe. If anybody's been watching some of those vlogs lately on that channel, I'm starting to have that same problem again. Uh, you get a shortness of breath once in a while, so uh, even as we're entering the winter season again, I just got to focus on my weight loss and that, and that's what I have to do. So basically, uh, if anybody has been watching some of the, uh, our videos over on the main channel, uh, I, it's been pretty well documented. I got about maybe five or six videos, and I do have a lot of walking videos, uh, basically. Tons of walking videos. That's been well known for on the main channel, and that, which I'm not going to do much here. I'm just taking a little break right now at this spot right here, uh, here, here in town. So, uh, I just want to just get out and say, uh, uh, basically about uh, the weight loss I've been battling. Uh, the weight issue I've been battling uh, for the last, uh, I would say, two and a half years, uh, basically. Or at least the last two plus years when we was doing the main channel. You know, there's a lot of YouTube channels that's been uh, talking about their weight loss issues. And that some are, uh, some are doing very well and some are kind of going the wrong way. I'm just one of those that's kind of going up and down, up and down like a roller coaster, which, uh, which is nothing new for me and that. So uh, basically, my last time I weighed myself, I was at around 275 pounds. My all-time low since I started this was uh, around 263, and I was there very, very briefly and all that stuff. So it, it just kind of hurts that you losing the battle we basically almost gained 20 pounds since then so once in a while I get a little depressed and of course when I get depressed I eat a lot I mean I guzzle I, I eat and that and I noticed that we're starting getting more fast food in our diets again which is not good also was also not good is having what you call pre-cooked meals and all that stuff it's it's nice to have them once in a while but it's just like once in a while you really got to have a uh, good home cooking uh, stick to the ribs home cooking without the uh, extra calories fats and all that stuff and of course my biggest downfall has always been the sugary drinks yes that is my biggest downfall uh, also once in a while I know I tip a few cold ones once in a while uh, basically but that's usually once in a while but uh, right now I got a few cold ones at home I need to uh, get rid of I, I just did a vlog on uh, beer can chicken which you play up on Sunday on the main channel uh, check it out if you have not uh, been on the main channel but check it out this Sunday on the main channel when I actually made beer can chicken and that but in a nutshell, I, that we are going to be doing, I'll be doing a lot more walking. Uh, I told Angie I need a lot to do more walking. I'm focusing on more uh, phasing out the sodas and uh, start doing more plain water. Uh, basically, just taking more water and all that stuff. So we're looking at possibly getting bottled water. I don't really like the tap water that well. If I'm going to do tap water, I'd rather make a batch of Kool-Aid with it just to get it some flavor. And someone suggested to try those little flavor packs. I do like them, but I don't really care for them that much. It's just that it makes you want to drink more of them. And like I said, everybody has their own little issues with weight loss and all that stuff. But when I battle with a, with a case of depression and all that stuff, of course, I'm, I'm a grazer. I'm a muncher and all that stuff. Uh, I'm, but most of my main meals is usually, I have very little for breakfast. I'm always like my dad. I've always had very little for breakfast, a little bit more for lunch, and usually have a big dinner. Usually they say breakfast is your biggest meal of the day because they said that's what they want. You have the big meal and breakfast, then go downward because if you have a big meal at night, you you don't get a chance to walk it off but like I said I do a lot of nightly walks too sometimes I'll go out before bedtime and I'll go off for a walk if the weather permits 
Then of course, like I said, over exercises and that can also work too, but I prefer walking because it's, I go out and adventure and all that stuff. And basically, if I could just stay out at Dairy Queens, the McDonald's, and uh, an occasional watering hole, I should be fine. Then, like I said, we're just going to have to phase out uh, some parts of the diets. Uh, we're looking at possibly within the next future. Uh, I'm going to try to phase out on my sodas. Uh, and if you get the natural caffeine of coffee, of regular coffee, without the sugar, just drink it straight up black. Uh, that could help somewhat so I can replace it from an artificial stimulant to something more natural because I think caffeine uh, in coffee is more natural than the, uh, the stimulant uh, caffeine or they call temporary uh, caffeine you find in sodas. So basically phase away the sodas and put in more water intake, uh, weight loss should uh, weight loss should come down and of course hopefully the spare tire goes away too. Alright, that's it. That's usually uh, on the case I want to talk about myself, uh, my health wise. Uh, last time I saw a doctor I got a good heart. Uh, just gotta watch my blood pressure, my anxieties and all that stuff. And of course uh, I, of course, they always say a bout of a good troll can get your blood going too, but I said I'd rather have a troll uh, commenting versus, let's say, a, a loved one not liking what you're doing. Uh, then that's a, that's a stress I don't really need as a loved one uh, harping on you. I'd rather have a stranger like a troll harping on me on some of these issues. And that's it. Uh, basically, we're going to wrap up this video. Uh, we're going to start monitoring the weight, uh, not just on this channel, but I think on the main channel. I think we're going to start noticing more and more that I'm going to start monitoring the weight, uh, what my intake is, and all that stuff. See what my calorie. I, I'm, I'm not very good on calorie counts and all that stuff. That's my uh, my downfall. Uh, fast foods is going to be find a way to figure it out to phase it out, phase out some of the fried foods, just go with something that is uh, more of a crock pot meals, uh, more of a bake type meals uh, basically, uh, trying to reduce some of the seasonings that, that I use on some of my foods, I know I go a little generous on my seasonings but if I can just cut back about 50% of the seasonings, I think I can cut back 50% uh, of my blood pressure too, I think that will work also and I think that's gonna be it uh, basically anything else any other any other tips or ideas leave it down in the comments down below I like to have some more tips and all that stuff but mainly uh, we're gonna start more focusing on more walks I average I try to average about five miles a day and sometimes I go about 10 miles uh, it all depends on what's uh, depending on the weather and, and all that stuff and basically that's it uh, but I just got to in a nutshell, uh, basically I gotta phase out the sodas, phase out the the fried foods, phase out the the processed foods. You know, instead of processed deli meats, get real sliced deli meats instead. You know, instead of bunny meats, which is full of high salt and fat, just get real uh, deli sliced meat because even if it's higher, but you're getting uh, better quality meat than you do with a uh, what they call the mechanically separated meat uh, and processed and salt and all that stuff. Like I said, any advice, leave it down, down in the comments down below. Uh, we're going to be monitoring our weight on the main channel. We'll probably do a couple updates on this channel, how my weight's doing. As of right now, my last time I weighed myself was 275 pounds. When I first started doing YouTube on the main channel, I was really at 300 pounds. So we got to start getting our weight down getting it down, get it down, proper diet, proper exercise, cut back on everything I mentioned earlier in this video and all that stuff, I think we'll have good goals. But the main thing is I cannot get depressed for any reason because when I get depressed, I start snorting up the food like pigs and grazing. Also, I got to stop my grazing too because some grazing is usually my biggest downfall too. All right, what do you think? Uh, any advice uh, give it down in the comments down below and uh, 
right now, basically, uh, sorry about the late upload on this. I was supposed to have this up earlier today, but I got busy, busy cooking beer can chicken. Uh, you will see that video on the main channel this Sunday. Uh, hopefully, check it out. Uh, don't forget, uh, hit the like button. Uh, put the bell on for notifications because this channel we upload at any time we want. And don't forget to share the video. And also, uh, don't forget to uh, put a like on this video or a dislike on this video. Who, who knows? Who cares? Because uh, you viewed it anyway. So we'll see you next time.